and give my dog a treat today. Treat mat, peanut butter for dogs. So it's got a picture of a bone on there, if you can see it. <coughs> so I have to crouch down a bit to fit on the camera. I did have a plastic knife, but I can't find it. It sounds like peanut butter. Put it on the mat and the dogs will like it. So you don't like this. I'm not going to put too much on there. I'm going to take him out for a walk in a minute. Give him a taster first to see if he likes it. All dogs like that. Good boy then. Good boy. He does like it now. He just knew. Take you out now. Go walk is now. I'd be working on a song called Chandelier by Sia and I'll be practicing this particular part just for strength. I know it's a grade eight song, it's difficult for me, but I'm just using it for learning. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier from the chandelier. Getting better at it. Thank you. Not every day you see horses walking up a residential street. There we go then. We're from the neighbourhood area, it's just a little field and uh, Oh that's uh, what's left of the style. <laughs> it's all broken it. Got rid of it. I remember the style, it used to be there, we have to climb over it, didn't we? A little field. It's a blue thing, like a bit of tent. I was trying to put a tent up here. Time to do camping, I think. It's been abandoned, I think. <laughs> Way yeah, that's a bit of a field. Oh, I can't run with the camera. I have to stop for a minute. Oof. It's at the end of the field, and that's where we come from. <laughs> yeah, someone's tried to put a tent up, look, and it hasn't worked, so they've abandoned it. 
Never mind. Oh. Wanna go to the gate? <laughs> now you're going forward to the bridge, you'll have to come back. Oh. That's a heavy gate to have. <laughs> And somebody left it open, it goes to close it. And it's a heavy chain on that. On that gate. Yes. That's the field. A little field. What does it say? Please close the gate. Yeah, it is. I think it's a heavy chain. I'll have to stop the camera to do it. Yeah, I'll the gate then. Oh. Heavy chain. Let me get the heavy chain on. There you are, I've done it. Heavy chain now. Hard to do it one handed. There's the bridge. Oh, main road, so what whoop, whoop, yeah, that one's on your trip over you. Yeah, it gets echoes in here. Yeah, it does. It echoes. There you are then. Not too bad. Usually echoes more than that. Come on then, we won't go too far. Another bridge there. Yeah. It's just road down there. We're going to go to the field then. I'm going to see if it's clear. Yeah, it echoes. Whee! There you are. <laughs> it echoes now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Is that fun? There's the gate. Oh, that water will come from because it hasn't rained. Yeah, I think there's a leak. Yeah, there's a water leak. There you are, that's the source. Water leak, a drain. Right, we're going to have to step over it, it's wet. <coughs> like a coat playing field. Oh, we'll have a look. <coughs> Oh, is there any dogs? Are we alright? Hey, eh? yeah. Not too bad. You come in. Huh? I lost her red leather leaves. Oh dear. This is alright now. This is beautiful. Look at me, dog. Bully dog. She never has it on a lead. I guess she had it on a lead to come in here. I can't hear what she's saying. It's all the traffic. I think she lost the dog around here. She never had it on a lead, that's why. She did this time, but she's been told off so many times by people when that dog loose on the main road. It was an accident. Not the dog's fault, it's hers. You want to go down the alleyway? I can't really make out what that lady was saying. I think she says a dog went missing. She tried to find it and then she found it in that field or something. So she takes it over there now. Because it likes going in there. She started to take it just there. And I'm up there walking all around the neighbourhood. Because she never used to put it on a lead. And people used to complain. Here we are then, out the alleyway. Ah, we're going to head our way back now. Okay. Paddy lives up there somewhere, I think. Yeah. My dog friend. Oh, my bag was so slow. Right. Somebody asked me the other day, what was the most funniest thing when you was at work? And I can't think of a few things, but... I thought I'd share this one, it was funny. 
<coughs> going back a few years when I was I was working in a shop you know part time when I was going to college <coughs> it's quite a few years back now quite, quite some time back anyway um, the funny part about it was I thought I'd share it because it's funny we used to have this canopy on the front of the shop it's like a, a good sheet of plastic or something and um, it, when it rained it used to get full of water so it builds up water and it would tip our boss used to get the broom handle or mop handle or something like that and try and get the water off the canopy by you know in between the customers dodging themselves in the shop getting in and out or I'd getting soaked. <coughs> um, the funny thing about it was <laughs> we used to have his battery lady. I mean she used to she come in every month to, to count the batteries and restock them, you know, order put in the orders for new batteries every time we got low in stock. And um, she's like a battery rep. And she was this like beautiful blonde girl with um she was just nice suit on and she just looked beautiful. <laughs> I mean all the guys I work with they they thought she was hot, you know, they, they liked her, they looked forward to her coming, you know, they really liked her. <clears throat> I don't blame her. she was beautiful and guys did guys would like her, yeah, definitely. Anyway, and she was like a model, you know, beautiful blonde hair and immaculate. She was nice. And she used to come in every <laughs> every month, and she would um, come and count the batteries. Well, oh. she always seems to come when we've had heavy rain, <laughs> and the canopy always used to fill up water. <laughs> and she, um, I try not to laugh. It was so funny. Every time she came, we would have had it, but when it had been raining, the canopy used to collapse. <laughs> and she'd be drenched from top to bottom. <laughs> I could just picture it. It's all right. <laughs> and um, she'd be actually drenched, and it's the way she used to walk in. And she said, it always gets me, doesn't it? <laughs> I try not to laugh, it's so funny. <laughs> and she just went top to bottom, she absolutely drenched. It's like it, it was like it was waiting for her to come. <laughs> I don't know why she seems to always get it. When she was beautiful, blonde hair, and suddenly she was drenched. <laughs> and I was lucky enough to witness it one day, but I never stopped laughing, I just couldn't help it. Oh God. <laughs> Everything was covered. She didn't want to come anymore after that. Her <laughs> oh, boss said that he'll try his best to try and get the water off before she comes. <laughs> Even the customers used to dive out thinking they're going to get it. <laughs> oh, oh, I never laughed so much. Oh, it was so funny. I just one of those funny moments that I always remember. You know, when you go to work, you know, you find there's some funny things that happen. I just wanted to share it because it was so funny. <laughs> if I could stop laughing, <clears throat> it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I could just picture her now, all soaking wet on top to bottom, like the waterfall went. Whoosh. <sighs> oh, that was funny. It's funny that you come across funny things like that in life. <laughs> I just thought I'd share it because it was funny. <laughs> Thank you.